uh, really making sure that we do the right training at the right place so that regardless of where these people end up, whether it's in Qantas or, or elsewhere, they've got the confidence and competence to, to deal with the significant shortage of workforce that is out there right now. Uh, yeah, uh, in Australia, we've got a significant workforce shortage and, and Qantas can see that coming and has invested greatly in supporting the Australian aircraft maintenance engineering. We've got two classes. Uh, one is an avionics and one is a maintenance course at the moment, and they're going really well. But the real quality of this is the fact that we've worked with Qantas to work out what, what is best for us to do in competency-based training. So in a day, we can do landing gear two or three times. But in their hangar, they may only get one chance a month to get those apprentices in that. And that is the power of, of having a good MTO that's able to deliver competency-based training to ensure that the confidence and competence is delivered. And so working with Ian Weeks, so I was talking to you last week about this, um, uh, really making sure that we do the right training at the right place so that regardless of where these people end up, whether it's in Qantas or, or elsewhere, they've got the confidence and competence to, to deal with the significant shortage of workforce that is out there right now. Uh, look, Stuart, that's a really good, good point about um, the diversity of our global workforce uh, and the different regulations that are out there, but also within those regulations, the different standards that are in different hangars, yep. and therefore the real, the real difficult nature in, in how hard it is for the really big ones, EASA, FAA, GACA, and, uh, and CASA to make sure that standards are kept. I think CASA has done a great job in the recent piece of work about which ones do we automatically recognise, yeah. but we just also need to acknowledge it's a global with all of these different standards and we've got to be very mindful of as an industry what that means as we move people across different boundaries. There is still a lot of work to go there, but we've got to work together to get there. Yeah.